Hi, hello, welcome back to our today's session. In this video, we are going to hear about heart. This will help you to remember all the important points regarding heart. video now before that if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and enable the bell notification so you don't miss any single video let's start what is heart and where it is located yes what is heart the heart is located in the thoracic cavity and posterior to the sternum superior to the diaphragm and between the lungs the tip of the heart is called apex average weight of a heart in male is 300 gram and female is 250 gram now let's check what is heart doing and what is the functions of the heart simply the heart pumps oxygen and nutrient rich blood to the organs tissues and cell of the body and eliminates waste products the main second function is blood is carried from the heart to the organs through arteries arterioles and the capillaries blood returns to the heart through venules and veins okay all right let's check some features of the heart the heart having three layers pericardium or epicardium so pericardium and epicardium is the first layer the outer layer of the heart one is called pericardium the name that literally means on the heart the epicardium is actually the visceral layer of the serous pericardium the functions of the pericardium is to limit cardiac distension and restrict extensive movement another function is to protect and lubricate the pericardium is composed of visceral pericardium, parenchymal pericardium and pericardial cavity. Second layer is known as myocardium. Middle thickest layer of the heart contains the muscle fibers which are responsible for pumping. Contraction of this layer allows blood to be pumped through the blood vessels. The third layer is known as endocardium. This is the innermost deepest layer of the heart. Lines in the heart chambers and the valves. Smooth, thin lining to reduce the friction of the blood flow through the chambers. Then the cardiac conduction system is located in this layer. Chambers of the heart are four. Two atria, two ventricle. Yes, the two atria are the receiving area and the two ventricle are the discharging chambers. Now we can check with right atria. It forms the right border and part of sterile costal surface and base of the heart. At the junction between the right atrium and the right auriculus is a vertical groove and the sulcus terminalis which is inside form of crista terminals. Opening into the right atrium. Superior vena cava. Inferior vena cava. Coronary sinus. Right atrioventricular sinus. Vena cordis minimi. Next we can go to right ventricle. The right ventricle communicates with the right atrium through the AV orifice and with a pulmonary trunk through the orifice. It receives blood from the right atrium and pumps it to the lungs through the pulmonary trunk. Next we can go to left atrium. The left atrium consists of a main cavity and a left auricle. Situated behind the right atrium, it forms the greater part of the base or the posterior surface of the heart and the part of the left border. Alright, now let's check about the left ventricle. The left ventricle forms the apex, stenocostal surface and left 2 by 3rd of diaphragmatic surface. The walls of the left ventricle are 3 times thicker than right ventricle. The mitral wall guards the AV orifice consist of 2 caps, one anterior and one posterior having similar structure to the caps of the tricapsid wall. Now it's an important portion, the blood supply of the heart. First one is coronary arteries. Coronary arteries supplies blood to the heart muscle like all other tissues in the body. The heart muscles needs oxygen rich blood to function. The coronary arteries wrap around the outside of the heart. The two main coronary arteries are the left and the right coronary arteries. Okay, let's check about what is left coronary artery and the right coronary artery. First one, right coronary artery. It is supplies the right atrium, right ventricle and the part of left atrium and the left ventricle and AV septum. Marginal, posterior interventricular, right atrial, right corners, terminal. Now it's time to hear about left coronary artery. Left coronary artery is larger than the right coronary artery. It arises from the posterior aortic sinus of the ascending aorta and passes forward between the pulmonary trunk and the left auricle. Here it gives the anterior interventricular branch which runs downward in the interventricular groove. 
the further continuation of the left coronary artery is circumflex artery the circumflex artery runs to the left in the left anterior coronary sulcus here it wins around left border of the heart and near posterior interventricular groove and it anastomoses with the right coronary artery anterior interventricular artery left atrial pulmonary terminus now regarding the venous drainage of the heart the remainder of the blood is returned to the right atrium by the anterior cardiac vein and by small veins that opens directly into the heart chambers that are great cardiac vein medial cardiac vein small cardiac vein and posterior vein of the left ventricle and oblique vein of the left atrium next regarding the conducting system of the heart this system consists of specialized cardiac muscle cells that can initiate impulses and conduct them rapidly through the heart they coordinate the contraction of the four chambers of the heart thus both atria contract together and both ventricle contract together the atrial contractions occurs first the synchronized contraction of the chambers is essential for the efficient pumping of the heart and for the maintenance of systemic and pulmonary circulations the parts are the sinoatrial or sa node the atrioventricle of av node the atrioventricular bundle or v bundle right and left branches of av bundle so far we are discussed regarding the heart i hope it's clear for everyone if you have any doubts don't forget to write it in the comment box for getting more nursing related notes download, download nursing, nursing guru, guru app, app.